Have you ever pondered the origins of the Bourbon kings? Some of the most influential rulers in European history. Let's embark on a historical journey. The House of Bourbon, a significant branch of the illustrious House of Capet, traces its roots to the noble lineage of Louis the I, Duke de Bourbon. This lineage remarkably traces back to Louis IX, a revered French king. The Bourbon's rise to power was catalyzed by the extinction of the Valois male line, making them the rightful successors to the throne of France. The title of Duc de Bourbon, however, faced a brief period of uncertainty before being reclaimed by the house. Charles de Bourbon Montpensier, who initially held the title, saw his lands confiscated by the French crown. This led to the headship of the house passing to the line of La Marche Vendôme, setting the stage for a pivotal shift in power. Antoine de Bourbon, Duc de Vendôme, emerged from this line ascending to the throne as King Henry IV of France in 1589. This marked the beginning of a new era, the Bourbon dynasty, which would go on to shape the course of European history. So the stage was set for the Bourbons, who were to rule France from 1610 to 1792. What sort of rulers were the Bourbon kings and what legacy did they leave behind? The Bourbon kings, spanning from 1610 to 1792, were a formidable force, with Louis XIV, the Sun King, shining the brightest among them. Known for his absolute monarchy and his belief in the divine right of kings, Louis XIV was a king who redefined the concept of royalty. His reign, the longest of any European monarch, was marked by a magnificent court, the expansion of French influence in Europe, and the establishment of overseas colonies. Fast forward to the French Revolution, a period of radical social and political upheaval. The Bourbon monarchy was suspended, and the very fabric of French society was transformed. Yet the Bourbons, like a phoenix, rose from the ashes. In 1814, they were restored to power, a testament to their enduring influence and the resilience of monarchy. Following the restoration, the Bourbon baton was passed to Louis XIII, a king known for his moderate rule post-revolution. He was succeeded by Charles VIII, who attempted to restore the absolute monarchy and was ultimately overthrown. The last Bourbon king of France was Henry V, whose reign was short and full of political turmoil. However, the Bourbon reign did not end with Henry V. The House of Orléans, a cadet branch of the Bourbons, came to power in 1830. This transition marked a shift from a traditional monarchy to a more constitutional form of governance, reflecting the changing tides of the time. The Bourbon kings were not just rulers, they were architects of history, molding France into a powerful nation, influencing European politics and leaving a legacy that transcended generations. Their reign was a complex tapestry of absolute power, revolution, restoration and reform. Thus the Bourbons shaped the course of French and European history, leaving an indelible mark. But did you know the influence of the Bourbon kings extended far beyond the borders of France? Indeed, the tendrils of Bourbon rule reached even to the sun-drenched lands of Spain and Italy. In the early 18th century, the Bourbon dynasty expanded its reach to Spain. This was made possible through the descendants of Louis XIV's consort, the Spanish Infanta Marie Therese. Through this royal union, the Bourbons secured their footprints on Spanish soil, marking the beginning of a new era in Spanish history. But the Bourbon influence didn't stop at Spain. The Infante Don Carlos, the future Charles III of Spain, played a pivotal role in establishing Bourbon fortunes in Italy. His strategic maneuvers and political acumen not only bolstered the Bourbon rule in Spain, but also laid the groundwork for their dominance in Italy. And let's not forget their rule over the Kingdom of Etruria and the Duchy of Lucca. These territories, nestled in the heart of Italy, found themselves under the rule of the Bourbon kings, further extending their influence across Europe. The Bourbon kings, therefore, were not just the rulers of France. They were a dynasty that left its mark on Europe, shaping the course of history across the continent. So the Bourbon kings didn't just rule France, their influence extended across Europe. So what is the lasting legacy of the Bourbon kings? The Bourbons, originating from Louis I, Duc de Bourbon, have left an indelible mark on European history. Their reign, spanning from Henry IV to Louis XVI, saw France flourish under their rule. Not confined to France, their influence extended to Spain, Naples, Sicily, Etruria and Lucca, shaping the historical trajectory of these regions.
through strategic marriages and acquisitions, they expanded their territories, power, and prestige. The Bourbon King's reign was a time of royal intrigue and power plays, shaping the course of European history. In the annals of history, the Bourbon Kings stand tall, their legacy echoing through the corridors of time,